Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Let me uh talk about this Ronda Rousey move to the WWE. You know, um, this isn't anything out of the ordinary. There have been plenty of uh, MMA fighters who converted to wrestling. You know, uh, Tank Gavin, um, Ken Shamrock. You know, quite a few people. So this isn't nothing out of the ordinary. But I'm going to tell you what's up with Ronda, Ronda Lousy. Ronda Lousy is mentally shaken. She's mentally broken. She doesn't have any confidence in herself. And that's pretty much the bottom line. And I can tell you another reason why she's going to the WWE. She is thinking about what happened with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, as you guys know, started as a wrestler. Well, actually, he started as a football player. He had a chance to go to the NFL, but he decided to pursue a career in wrestling. Now, I'm I'm not going to get in deep about The Rock personal background, but at the end of the day, it worked out for him. The Rock is now one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood, and his movies are kicking ass at the box office. Uh, the sequel to Jumanji, Jumanji excuse me, has grossed, I think, over $300 million at the box office. It's a smash hit. And he has a shitload of movies lined up, including um, a Fast and Furious spinoff. So I can understand why Ronda Rousey has decided to become a full-time wrestler because she figures that could possibly do the same thing for her. Now, Ronda Rousey isn't that good of an actress. I'm just going to be completely honest. But at the end of the day, she knows, at least with the WWE, you know, the punches are fake and it's scripted to where she can win her matches. I think after her two back-to-back -back losses, she just was mentally damaged because at the end of the day, she got too caught up in the hype. She was liking the smell of her own shit too much. And then when she finally realized how bad it stunk, she couldn't handle it. You know, there were rumors that she was suicidal and a whole bunch of other shit going on outside of, uh, you know, the octagon. So as far as her going to the WWE, hey, that's a good move for her. Because as I said before, we already know the WWE is scripted. You know what I'm saying? Just like the NFL. So I think Ronda Rousey will be fine. Uh, I hope it works out for her. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even tripping off the shit what happened with Ronda Rousey in the past because I already knew Ronda Rousey was full of shit. And she got pumped up by the media to actually believe that she would have a chance of beating up Floyd and all that type of shit. And, you know, like I said, it backfired on her. She couldn't even handle Holly Holm. Okay, so at the end of the day, the very notion of them actually saying that a woman could beat up a man, and that just goes to show you the hypocrisy of, you know, the predominantly controlled white media. They were actually pushing this. But then you got a lot of these chicks hollering about the Me Too movement and all that type of shit. Like I said, white women is fake as fuck. They some of the fakest motherfuckers out there. They fake. They're opportunists. And you know what I'm saying? And as I said before, white women is, to a certain degree, the sole cost and sole, you know what I'm saying, sole purpose of most of the evil committed on the, on, on the planet Earth. Let's just keep it 100 some of the most heinous acts ever committed on people on this planet and particularly black people then been in behind a white woman so hey it is what it is man but anyway let me know what you think man i'm out